these are currently one of my favorite matte lipstick formulas ever hi guys welcome back to lou's beauty closet if this is your first time here hi i'm lou i post weekly beauty and luxury videos if that sounds like something you'd be interested in hit that subscribe button down below and if you're already subscribed ring the bell so you don't miss out on any videos without further ado let's get into it Hey guys, we are getting a bit exciting here. We're taking a peek into my drawers back here and seeing the stash that I have. And um, since the declutter video did quite well and people were requesting to see my collection, I thought, why the heck not? Give the people what they want. So we are doing makeup collection videos now because obviously if I did just my whole collection, we'd be here for like an hour plus. So I've split it up. So I'll just be sprinkling each one and dropping them in, so look out for those. So today we are doing lipstick collection. Now, lipstick is probably my favorite part of makeup, my favorite makeup item. I don't walk out of my house without lipstick on, or gloss, or some form, some form of lip product it has to be on my lips when I walk out of my house. I could have a bare face, but I'll have lipstick on. <laughs> so that's just my armor. So it's fitting that we do lipstick collection first. So enough waffling from me, let's get into these drawers. Okay guys, so this is my lipstick collection. So these are my liquid, so it's liquid lipsticks, bullet lipsticks, um, lip, lip creams, lip glosses, and I've got lip pencils as well up in this pot too. I have done a declutter recently enough, so this was a lot larger and I will link that up for you guys as well on the screen. I do know that this is um, a lot of lipsticks as well for the average person. I know that no single person needs this many lipsticks, but I collect them, I love it. This is my favorite part of makeup. As you guys can tell, it's my favorite makeup item. I have a lot. I have grouped stuff by brands. Okay, so we will go into this side of the makeup. So these are bullet lipsticks. I've got a lot of empty spaces and I've got a spot here in case I do add to my Pat McGrath collection and I probably will because I still have stuff on my wish list. So these two, they're like shimmery, sparkly gold. They are absolutely stunning. They were part of the holiday collection that she released last year. So this is the Blitz Trance lipstick. So this one is Rebel Red. How stunning is that? So this is Rebel Red. So it's like literally just a sparkly red. It's so stunning. I have worn it and it just, it's not too gritty, but it's not like super finely milled either. So it's beautiful, gorgeous. And these obviously don't store fully flat because of the lips. This one, she also released like a holiday edition of her holiday packaging. And this is like, this one is Flesh for Towels. So this is a color that's part of the range but it's got this like appearance. It looks like it's an overspray, but it's not guys, because as you can see, I've been using it and this is what it looks like. I have been using it and I haven't lost this finish. But they are expensive lipsticks, but it's like a collector's piece. And even when the lipstick is finished, I'm definitely gonna keep the bullet for this one. I try to arrange them in color. Then behind, I have these three. Pat McGrath lippies. So this is the shade Lavish. So I'll show you guys here. So it's like a rose terracotta nude, mauvey nude sort of. Flesh 3. This color is the color, the color that I wanted the most from the whole Pat McGrath collection. So this is her matte trance lipstick. And I forgot to mention Lavish is her luxe trance. So this is like a creamy, creamy version. And this is her matte version. A lot of people love her matte, um, her her Lux Trance, that's like one of her best sellers. The mattes are also gorgeous too, and it's really comfortable mattes. This is Flesh 3, I'll swatch this one, because I love this one. It's stunning. There's also Flesh 5, which is on my list, so that will be reserved for this spot. And then lastly, I have Beautiful Creature. I think this is the first one that I got. And this is also a Lux Trance. So I only have one matte trance and two Lux Trance lipsticks, and this is more of that pink shade. It's just, bit more unique oh, it's so creamy guys moving behind i have two anastasia beverly hills lipstick rosewood and dead roses actually quite a dry formula i do like the shades but i don't use these enough this is so this is rosewood it's like super dry formula but it is nice and it does stay on but it's a bit drying just so you thought you guys should know that and dead roses i really like how unique the color is like a mauve, but it's it's like a greyish tone. Really cool toned one. Oh. 
and I just dug into my lipstick guys. The next row is just miscellaneous because I only have one of each of them. So the first one is a dose of colors lipstick and this is from the Desi Katie collab. The first collab they did and this is more creamer please. It's the only true peachy lipstick I'd say I have and it's a bit brown because of all my lip liners I put but I'll swatch it for you guys. I really love wearing this and on first swatch and glance you can see it does look quite peachy like Lou how are you wearing that by itself but I wear it with the lip liner i wear it with like bff3 from colourpop then i have a bite beauty lipstick this is the only one i have and this is the Am amuse bouche lipstick in crushed chili really unique it's a, basically like an orange orangey red lipstick i don't have any other bite lipstick bite beauty lippies in my collection i think i've i've also decluttered them in the past life but did you see that did you see that pigmentation and how creamy it went on so nice always get compliments when i wear this shade i do need to wear it more um with bite beauty the lipstick formula is gorgeous i just find that the smell really puts me off and then the next one is revlon i love this lipstick guys this is in the shade mink so it's 671 mink and this is their cream formula it's such a gorgeous nude and i wear this one without you can see i've loved it a lot <laughs> I wear this one without a lip liner. It's honestly such a good like run out of the door lip nude. Last row, I've just got all my ColourPop lipstick. We start off with saying that I love the packaging with this. ColourPop really smashed it with these lipsticks. It feels so the weight of it feels really luxe. The look of it, it is actually stunning. So it's good job ColourPop. And the fact that these are what, $7? Amazing. And they give you quite a bit as well. Now, um, I have also done a swatch video for these, but I've got LA, lay, I've got Layover, 27, LA Lady or La Lady and Hello Stranger. So I sort of arranged it in colour. This is Layover. Now, the only, some of the colour swatches at the bottom give the, give a false impression of the lipstick sometimes because I know I don't reach for this as much as I like to, but look at the colour they put and look at the lipstick. It's actually a really nice nude. Then I've got 27, really like this shade. Again, like the lipstick swatch doesn't really do the thing justice. Then I've got LA Lady or LA Lady, Low Stranger, which is this sort of purple shade. But again, look, look at this looks like a berry and this is like a vamp thing. So these are my acrylic holders of all my acrylic storage is from Etika. It is an Australian company. So this is the lipstick holder. This is the 24 one, I think, because it's got three. And so it's the 24 and then these are the lip gloss holders from Etika as well. Right, moving on along. This is where the meat of my bullet lipstick collection lies. It is pretty much dominated by MAC lipstick. And then you've got Urban Decay and I've got NARS at the back. I used to have a lot more Urban Decay lipsticks, but I have since decluttered some too. We've mainly got MAC, so I've got my special edition bullets here. And then the rest are just normal lipsticks and I've arranged it in um, colour order. This was the Mariah Carey collab that they did. How gorgeous was this? I remember, <laughs> I always remember the story behind this one. I actually bought two. I bought a backup just because I really liked it. I really hardly, I don't do that anymore, but I did. I loved this collection. Shade, um, I get so OCC and it's a frost lipstick. I think it's my only frost lipstick from MAC. It's just so gorgeous. Sometimes they really smash it with their with the limited edition stuff. So it's the Mariah Carey collab and it's so beautiful and it's got the butterfly insignia on it and it's just so stunning. I haven't used this one. So I did, my mum also liked it. So I gave her the other one that I had. So it's, just, it's just like a nice skin tone nude, like a brown nude, frosty 90s lipstick. This is the Brooke Candy collab. I wanted Whirl, they, at the time they had this collaboration. I have Whirl and I also have it in the limited edition bullet. I just really like the packaging. I have a lipstick from the Selena collection. I love purple as well. And this is in the shade Dreaming of You. Really like this, this lipstick as well. Might swatch the limited edition ones. So gorgeous. MAC lipstick's like a classic, guys. Then I have... Then I have the, this was, now this was the holiday collection, not last year, but the year before, I believe. This is called Leap of Delight. It is such a unique lipstick shade. And just look at the packaging, guys. The pink lipstick, the MAC in gold, this MAC gold bullet and the purple. It's so beautiful. But the lipstick itself is such a unique shade. I don't have a like, pure purple sort of lipstick like this. It is so nice. Look at it so nice 
if you follow me on instagram i did for february i did a 14 days of lips sort of series and this featured as one of my combos that i did so you can check that out i have a random lip intensity lipstick i had two decluttered one this is toast and butter love this the formula is fantastic i love how the lipstick the lid is re reflective of the color it's actually quite accurate to see it's really accurate depiction of the of the lipstick love the formula of these so creamy so hydrating and it's just beautiful and that nude that with mac chestnut or colourpop bff3 and you're 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 on your way then moving on to my normal lipsticks there are actually some limited edition ones in here but they're the ones that mac didn't do packaging with so here the first one i've got is among the fireflies the fairy fair collection i remember missing out on it the first time and they did a re-release of this lipstick and some others so i have this it's a cream sheen formula here i have touch which i think everyone knows what touch looks like it's pretty classic this is a luster this one i picked as one of my back to mac lipsticks i have taupe i think this is a matte this also was a back to mac lipstick too so that's why it's not as used as some of the others you'll see. This is the Patricia Bright lipstick. So again, they didn't do this in special limited edition packaging of the box for this. So that's what it came in. This was the Mac Makers collab that they did with different makers. I wanted Nima Tang, but I can't see it on the Australian websites. Then I have Persistence, which is pretty much a staple in my collection. I've loved this. Next, I've got Verve which is a satin lipstick. This is another well-loved one that is almost out. Next is another limited edition one that is in normal packaging. This is the Nicki Minaj collab in Derriere. I really like this brown. It was literally just like a pure brown. I really liked it. Next is Photo. This is a lot newer as well. This is in a satin finish. I think this is either back to Mac or just recent, so that's why it's still quite full, but just just stock standard brown. Then we have Paramount, which is a satin. You guys are probably seeing a similar... Uh, a pattern here these are my ogs these were the first mac lipsticks i ever bought ruby woo was my first one but i actually wanted um rebel and they were out of stock at the time so i so rebel i eventually got in my collection and has been well loved this is a classic for a lot of mac fans and then ruby woo this was actually my first mac lipstick which is very interesting this, this is notorious for being super drying it is in their retro matte formula which they have since updated i'm pretty sure and then the odd one out which is the powder kiss lipstick this is in burning love it's a matte lipstick but it goes on like a satin and it feels so hydrating like I'll show you guys it just glided on but if i can't it's just hard to describe moving on to my urban decay lipstick so i only have four so i've got amulet wildfire mosh pit and blackmail so amulet is a stunning this is their metalized lipstick and i wear this as like a nude it's so beautiful the so many of my bullets are butchered but it's got the nice Emma Decay logo stamped in the bullet. I'll just swatch that here. So it's metalized formula, but I wear it as a nude and you can wear it by itself or with a liner. Wildfire, Australia didn't get this color. So I had to source this from the States, my personal shopper with the um, Sephora sale. So I got this at a bit of a discount. It's their metalized one. Again, it's like an orangey lipstick. So cool when I wear this. I wear this with a brown lip liner. I'll just swatch that up here. It's just so unique. It's such a unique color in my collection and I actually quite enjoy wearing it. And I will say that the metalized formula, the glitter isn't chunky. Then I've got Mosh Pit. This is a cream. The only thing that stops me from wearing this one so often is because it's a cream, it kind of goes everywhere. So you have to be, it has to be somewhere where I'm going, where I'm going out and I know I'm not going to be talking a lot. So this is the blackmail one, this is the swatch. Right at the back, I have my NARS collection. So the first one I got as part of a Christmas set when they did the little triangles. So this is Audrey, running out of space on my hand. This one, yes, do not laugh at me. I got it because it was named after me, but I also quite like the color. This is called Louise and it is gorgeous. I, honestly guys, just the novelty of how you can just put the bullet on and it just snaps into place. It's so cool. It's just so sleek. I've actually loved this one as well and they've got NARS on the bullet and it's just like his signature like red brown. Oh, look at how creamy that is. I need to wear these more. 
the last one i have is called fanny and nas is always stays delivering the fantastic names for products color and everything so you guys can see that i had a bit more of a wild side with look at that pink look it's like a purple fuchsia those are pretty much all my bullet lipsticks so now i'll do my liquid lipsticks my glosses my satins all that kind of good stuff so first up you guys can see that i have clearly got a wild love affair with nars at the moment so i've got my nars so these are my power matte lip pigments and i've got my lip glides and my vinyl lip lacquer and at one point i had this spelling out nars because i am weird like that and come on if you're not going to do it what is the point so I'll start with the Power Matte Lippies. These are currently one of my favorite matte lipstick formulas ever. So I've got the, um, so the first one I've got Somebody to Love. This is one of my newest editions. So this came out end of last year, I'm pretty sure. And it's just a really nice, like the applicator, the applicator bonus, the formula, it's like really liquid. It, it dries quickly, but it's so comfortable. So this has done it again. Nice, just nice classic brown. So you can see the formula is pretty liquid. The bullet, you can, the applicator is super precise. You can really get a good application with this. And next I've got a red that I absolutely love. This one is called Don't Stop. I get so many compliments when I wear this red. It's stunning when I'm going out and I really want a red lip or wow factor, I wear this. And you guys will probably notice I don't have that much red in my collection. But this red, oh yes, does it for me. So I've got Area, these super pigmented glosses basically. That's like a nice brown. This is like a grab and go kind of gloss. And then this one is Paradise Garage. Bit more of an unusual shade, but I quite like having those shades in your collection that are just a bit different. But I do still, I do still wear it. My lip lacquers, my vinyl lip lacquers, these babies, I'll wear it at. The formula on these, the shine, the pigment, it is out of this world. It's honestly gorgeous. This, again, I featured in my lip series. Look at this. This is the shade Red District. This is Baden Baden or Baden Baden, however you want to say it. Gorgeous vampy shade. This is like when I'm in my vampy mood, I wear this. Oh, love it. And then lastly, I really wanted one of the sparkly ones. This one, Abruzzo, amazing. And I've actually combined this, put this on top of lipsticks and it looks even more stunning. Applicator is so cool. It's like a flat applicator, but you can still be super precise with. So pretty. It's like one way it looks pink, one way it looks brown. It's like a gorgeous duochrome. So I have a random lonesome one here, which is an hourglass. What were these called again? What were these called? The girl lipstick, like the lip stylo or something these were called. So I've got a random hourglass one and this is in the shade Achiever. So I've always used this as like daily, chuck in my handbag, grab and go. This row here is all Anastasia Beverly Hills. This section here is Stila. These are Colourpop, I believe. This is Pat McGrath and I've got Sephora down here. Then I've got Kat Von D here. So I've grouped them into brands. So up here and I've got Kylie at the back. So I've got the shade Sepia, Standard Nude. Anastasia glosses are one of the best gloss formulas. Pigment is there, really comfortable to wear. I've got um, Fudge, which is the other nude. And you can probably see that that one I'm almost out. So it's a bit darker and a bit, bit more mauve. I have a sparkly one, this is Maple. So it's nice to have different finishes sometimes. It's beautiful, look at that. Then I've got two Anastasia liquid lippies. Love the colors, the formula is super drying guys. This is the shade Dazed. So it's super gorgeous color. When you put it on at first, it's nice, but it's so drying. And this one is my favorite out of the two. This is Current. I just love how like, look at the shade, love it. Running out of real estate. I'll do these two at the back since they're nearby. So these two are the only Kylie lip the liquid lippies that I have. So this one is Love Bite. These are okay. The formula is alright. Um the they go on quite nicely. The one I have is Rain. This is her metal matte. Quite like this. This one doesn't last as long as her standard matte does. This row in the middle is Kat Von D now. Kat Von D, I'm not going to be 
buying any new Kat Von D at the, just not supporting some of her views and some of the statements she's made and things so that's just my personal decision I'm just going to use it up and when I'm done I'm just not going to buy any more and it's a shame because I did like her foundation and her products but anyway these are the ones I have so this is uh, exorcism um, I, it's super easy to carry around and chuck in your bag in your pocket whichever um I like the formula of these gorgeous color I remember when this was like the trend and everyone was going on about this and Lolita this Lolita that then we've got crucifix which is a nice brown nice brown and then I love this color Miss Argentina how stunning is that it's like a Barbie pink or not even it's like a hot pink and then lastly I have what's this called a sanctuary so it's more of that muted muted nude like that grayish nude here I've got my Stila. These are some of my favourite ever liquid lipstick formulas. At one point I was just buying Stila everything. This is Rico. And this is Chianti. I love this shade. This is like vamp.com. Then next is Aria. is be so shimmering so this one i actually bought as a dupe for the mac in retrograde and that one was a limited edition could not get my hands on it so this was like a close close second so next we've got these two which are ColourPop, and these are from the i love sadahi collab this is a new collection but it's newer in my collection so i've got um coquette and or coquette and mamacita then i have my pat mcgrath lip glosses and as you guys can probably see these have been really well loved recently these are quite new to me i bought this as part of my this was in my sephora haul i'll put that on the screen if you guys wanted to check that out bronze temptation gorgeous 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 the formula on the Pat McGrath lipstick is so nice, hydrating, but they also make your lips look like glass. Lip lines and stuff on your lips disappear. One coat for some of them is nice, but two coats does the trick. Like Bronze Temptation isn't as pigmented as the other one. And it's definitely got a bit more of a sparkle to it. And then this is Flesh 4. Handed nude. Like I knew I was getting this. Didn't even need to see swatches of this one. Then down here we've got two Sephora liquid lipsticks or cream lip stains as they're called. Really underrated the Sephora lipsticks. They are a gorgeous formula, fabulous price point and the shade options are so cool. There's some na natural nudes and there's some weird and wacky colours as well. I've got it in shade 98. They don't have the names but on the website you'll see the names. So this is like a really deep, in the tube it looks, it looks different to how it actually dries down. So this looks brown but it dries down a lot, vampy, a lot vampier. I've been loving these as well and then this is the shade 54 a true brown I uh, look like the size is fantastic so you can just throw it in your handbag throw it in your pocket and you can just retouch as you need so this is carnivorous and I love the formula I always get compliments on this so this is more of like a red brown but it's gorgeous the pointiness it's so easy to apply without a lip liner as well then this is caramel the oh sweetie lip color love the smell it's just it's just for fun really i just wanted to try one of them and this was the one that i quite liked my the rest of my color pop lippies and some glosses and then i've just put my lip liners here so these are my glosses from color pop you can tell that i love these the color pop glosses the ultra glossy lip is another one of my favorite gloss formulas so this one the Pat McGrath glosses, the ABH glosses, and the um, NARS lip vinyl, the lip lacquer, sorry, the vinyl lip lacquer. Those are like my favourite gloss formulas currently. Um, this one in His To You has been one of my faves. Since they updated the applicator, it's been fabulous. The pigment isn't that, isn't that much. It's like a sheer lipstick, but on, and the micro sparkle, it makes my lips look like jelly as well. Then I've got Champagne Mummy. I've got the Shayla collab, which is Neat Freak. And all this stuff has rubbed off as it usually does on Colourpop. But she's still got the old applicator on hers, which sometimes is quite a deterrent for me wearing this because it really doesn't pick up much. And I find that I have to just go scooping. And then this is the Ellery collab. This is Netta. 
this is super pigmented though guys this is like a nude so definitely wear it with a liner and a little goes a long way see how pigmented that is it's just on my knuckle there this ColourPop lippy stick and as you can see it's like super messy as this gets this is in the shade Dukes vamp so you guys can see i have a type as well i love vampy lips so it's just there it's actually stunning really comfortable formula i just don't reach for it super often but it's the only one i have and i've got a zoeva lip lacquer the pure lacquer lips this is in the shade sensual sensual curve the applicator is so cool the um the curve like it's got that cut out it's so handy for applying liquid lipstick and it's really pigmented it's much like a gloss basically just a super pigmented gloss like it never dries down but look at the pigment look at that look at the formula it's beautiful so this one because it's too small to fit anywhere i've not i need another one of these so that i can reach for it a lot more but it's beautiful this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Gloss. It's the only one I have from the collection. It's in Papa Don't Peach. Jackie Ina um, inspired me to get this one. I usually prefer thought that black girls can't wear peach, peach color lipsticks, peach color glosses. And she wears it with liner and I did the same thing and it's gorgeous. It actually works so well with BFF3 or Mac Chestnut. All right, then lastly, I have my lippy pencils. This is actually pretty good for me. I try not to hoard two lip pencils. This is actually the strictest I am. I think I'm so strict on this like item of my makeup. So these are Kylie. These came with the lip liquid lipsticks. So this is Vixen. I've kept this one, but I decluttered the bullet, the actual lipstick. I, the formula was horrible for that one. It's like a vampy, it's like a vampy liner. So it's super useful and handy to have. For, is Love Bite and that I've got the lipstick for. Then I've got the signature MAC Chestnut. My first MAC liner was actually Mahogany, which is this one here. And it's also gorgeous with those more V Terracotta nudes as well. Then I have another MAC one, which is Hover, which is actually a new one in my collection. I needed something that was a bit like nude, but not as dark as Chestnut and not as red as um, Mahogany. So Hover is a bit, and I was actually worried that these kind of shades wouldn't really show up on me, but they do. And they go quite nicely with my lighter nudes as well. A miscellaneous one, which is my Bite Beauty Lippy Pencil. And this is in the shade, it's rubbed off, 084. This is gorgeous. I fell in love with this one when they released them and I saw this. And this is again for, this is like that berry kind of liner. For all my ColourPop lip pencils. BFF3 is the biggest one because this is my second pencil. I've got Root, Dahlia and Pitch. So All right, so that's my lipstick collection. I will mention, I did forget one and it was my Fenty Lip Balm, the lip gloss. It's somewhere in one of these pots or drawers somewhere. I completely forgot that one. Um, because of the shape of a lot of the products, it's really difficult to store. So it's out of sight, out of mind. So I tend not to reach for it, but I'm trying. So comment below if you are keeping count of my lipstick collection. I've lost count and I gave up all hope of that a long time ago. Also, let me know what your favorite part of my lipstick collection was. Keep your eyes peeled for the rest of these makeup collection videos because I'll be sprinkling and dropping them in. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, ring the bell so you don't miss out on any videos. Until next time, guys. Bye.